ships across the seas These scallywags and scum With their cards filled with rum Have stolen our pay from the golden age These scallywags and scum With their cards filled with rum Have stolen our pay from the golden age From days of adventures from times of old These pirates have tales that need to be told Ladies and gentlemen, pirates of all ages, welcome to the last and final episode of A Page from the Golden Age. Today, we would like to start off by thanking our sponsor, the students at MCAST who have filmed and edited these videos, Libertalia for the jewellery, Jolina Boutique Living for the lovely premises, and today we have a special sponsor. Today, we would also like to thank Furban Clothing for sponsoring us with two giveaways at the end of this episode. So, stay tuned. Today, we will be talking about two famous pirate women that terrorized the Caribbean. In a town in Ireland, sometime in the late 1690s, a little girl with fiery red hair and burning temper was born. Mary was born out of wedlock, daughter of a lawyer and a servant girl. She was already not off to a good start. Mary grew up to be a red-haired beauty, but her temper would not rank her as a lady. It is said that at the mere age of 13, Mary stabbed a servant girl, who spent several months in hospital. Following other instances where the girl rebelled, her father tried to settle her down and arranged a marriage for her, but she disagreed. She ran away and married a small-time pirate that went by the name of James Bonney. It is here that Anne took his surname and became Anne Bonny. Her father, outraged, disowned her and she was therefore entitled to none of the family's riches. In return, devilish Anne set her father's home estate on fire. Anne, along with her husband James, sailed to Nassau, the pirate haven. There they enjoyed a life of piracy and drinking until one day her husband fell in with Woods Rogers. Woods Rogers sought to end piracy in the Caribbean and had spies and hunters all around. Rogers offered James a pardon to live as a normal man and forget piracy. He accepted and took the job, working against pirates as a snitch. Anne disliked his decision and after quite some time fell out of love with him. Anne had grown fond of the pirate life, the men around her and the tavern hopping every night. From her frequent tavern trips, she met and fell in love with the also pardoned ex-pirate Calico Jack Rackham. Due to her not being happily married, she wanted to be with Jack, but she was also still married. Yet, there is honour among thieves. Calico Jack asked James Bonney to divorce Anne so he could marry her, but he did not support this. This therefore led to Jack and Anne's escape onto the high seas, and once again became pirates. They gathered some men, stole a ship, and were on their way. Anne and Jack preyed upon small ships in the Caribbean, easy and almost effortless conquers, which served and went down well among the whole crew. Later on, Anne became pregnant, and so they sailed to Jamaica for her to give birth. No one really knows what happened to the baby. Some say that the couple gave the child away to Jack's parents, and some say that they abandoned the baby. Following this event, they got married. Across the sea, in the land of kings and nobles, back in 1685, Mary Reed, another female pirate, was born to a widow. As she grew up, her brother had sadly passed away, making it hard to survive without a man providing for the family. So, her mother dressed Mary up as a boy and sent her to work. She spent most of her life living and working as a boy, and later on even joined the ship's crew. Aboard the Dutch ship, Mary fell in love with a gentleman. They got married and even moved to the Netherlands when they bought a restaurant called The Three Horseshoes. 
Sadly, her brief moment of happily ever after ended after her husband died of sickness. Forced to find work yet again, Mary got dressed up as a man and joined a small merchant ship which was on its way to the East Indies. It was here that her life changed and she became a pirate. The merchant ship was set upon and attacked by pirates. Most of the crew were forced to join the pirates or die, and Mary chose life. She had now joined the infamous crew of Captain Calico Jack Racker and his pirate queen, Anne Body. No one had discovered that she was a woman, but Anne Bonny saw right through her little disguise. She recently confronted her and the two grew fond of each other. They spent hours talking and spent a lot of time together. Captain Jack was growing suspicious of his lover's newly found mate. Still unaware that Mary was indeed a girl, he spied on them and found out that the two were in love. This did not go down well, so he decided to confront them and plan to kill them both. But little did he know that his wife was in love with another girl. Confused and surprised, Jack decided to let them both live. It is said that he too had fallen for Mary and therefore formed a sort of love triangle. This was the only pirate ship which had not only one but two females on board. Pirates were known to live freely, to defy every rule. It was common for male pirates to have male lovers to free slaves and to give them proper work, and now to have women on board as well. So now Anne, Mary and Jack sailed along the Caribbean to pillage and plunder. On October of 1720, the crew were all drunk and parading, having one hell of a time. But they were set upon by pirate hunters who took them by surprise. The men, along with Jack, went down and hid below deck, afraid and drunk. While the two ladies, Anne and Mary, bravely fought the soldiers. It was an uneven battle, fighting almost 30 to 1. The ship was captured by pirate hunters and they were all sentenced to hang. Cunning Anne and Mary both claimed that they were pregnant at the time, meaning they could not be hung until the child was born. But the men could not play this card. On the day of Jack's hanging, Anne was allowed to say her last few words to her husband before he passed on to the next life. Mary looked him in the eyes and uttered these words. I am sorry to see you in this situation, but had you fought like a man, you would not need to die like a dog. And with those last words, Jack's snack snapped under the hangman's noose. No one really knows what happened to Mary and Anne. Some say that they ran away and gave birth to their children and raised them as a family. But some more solid facts state that Mary Reed had died tragically in her cell before giving birth. But as for Anne Bonny, there is no recorded proof that she had hanged, nor that she died. So who knows? Maybe she did manage to escape with Mary. Or maybe she got out of there alone, spending the remainder of her days out at sea, pirating or drinking in taverns. Whatever they did, However they died, these pirate women will forever be known as the Queens of the Caribbean. And that, ladies and gentlemen, does not only bring us to an end of an episode, but an end of a season. The first season of A Page from the Golden Age. Hopefully we will be back for another season where we will talk about more pirates. But before we go, we mentioned that we have a special giveaway. We teamed up with Furban Malti and we are giving away these two shirts to people who will share and like our page. We have this one, the Corsairs of Malta. And from their latest collection, El Vachel, which means the vessel. These two shirts will be given to two lucky winners who comment down below, share our page and like our page. So ladies and gentlemen, pirates of all ages, I will see you hopefully in the next season of A Page from the Golden Age.